Happy Bartholomew Day. I, I thought maybe this was a lesser festival enough that the Lutheran Church wouldn't pick it up in Christ in her home. But there it is. Bartholomew, apostle, um, spent some time reading uh, in my uh, book on the saints and festivals. Uh, that's really connected to my years on internship with uh, Don Chris, uh, my, my um, pastoral supervisor and now bishop of the southeastern Michigan Synod. So fond memories uh, and reading on St. Bartholomew, attributed as one of the disciples. Our devotion this morning invites us to uh, a text that I did read this morning already, but would love to read with you. Um, and we'll see if this devotion connects us to that uh, story there in some way. So John chapter 1 is where I'll meet you today to dwell for a few minutes here in God's Word. Uh, we're going to be in verse 43 when uh, Jesus is discovered. So read along if you'd like. Or listen in devotion. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him. We have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite whom there, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Word of God, may it, be, may it be a word of life for you today. Is it Bartholomew or Nathaniel? Good question, Pastor Heike. So what I was discovering in my reading this morning is that um, they, uh, throughout time, Bartholomew, look, I'm going to get boring now, right? No, Bartholomew um, uh, may have been a uh, kind of a family name or, 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 some, or a clan name, and that Nathaniel may have been that proper name. Thus, um, this John a gospel is offered now um, by many of the churches for today's festival. Um, it used to be Luke, and now it's here. So, yes, is it Bartholomew or is it Nathaniel? Question for us to ponder as our day unfolds today. This day of Bartholomew Apostle, read along a devotion from Christ in our home if you'd like. It invites our focus to the 48th verse. Where did you get to know me? I saw you under the fig tree. Have you ever wondered what exactly Jesus saw in Nathaniel or Bartholomew, as he is called in the other Gospels? Sure, he saw a man. Yet apparently Jesus saw with more than just his eyes, and in some mysterious way saw Bartholomew's inner character as well. He recognized him as an honest man and declared him to be an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Bartholomew seems sure that Jesus could not have glimpsed him before Philip called him, and additionally also asks incredulously, where did you get to know me? Impressed by the power of the moment, Bartholomew declares that Jesus is the Son of God. Indeed, his confession is so immediate that even Jesus seems surprised. The same Jesus who saw something good in Bartholomew sees the good in you and me as well and calls us into apostleship. With Bartholomew, we too will see the amazing good that, come, that came out of Nazareth. And as apostles, go and tell that news to others. I added that. On this day of both and, Pastor Heike, Nathaniel, and Bartholomew, be invited to pray together. Jesus, open our hearts to what you see in us, that we too might follow you. In your name, amen. And may we respond to Jesus uh, proclaiming, um, good in us, uh, 
a word of gratitude. <laughs> Is it Robert or Adam? <laughs> now you guys are getting fun. Both called into apostle. Yes, yes, now we got it. We got it, friends. Be invited as this day unfolds before you to continue to have fun. Connect with the, the church uh, beyond our walls and be invited to pray for those inviting others to come and see Jesus. And may you continue to uh, call others to come and see uh, God calling goodness out of us as well. God hold you and God bless you, beloved.